Hey guys, B Man here. Look at that damage over 10,000 damage in a slice. Look at how fast we take out this giant, guys. Yes, this video right here is all about this sword right here, guys. Where to get it and showing and displaying how powerful it is. It's really grunty, guys. Even against things that are resistant to flame, like this thing here, it's still pulling out big numbers and we could pretty much kill it without it actually landing an attack on us due to it stunning things and then you could discard it. Obviously we don't want to kill that because I want it later. Now we'll show you it. It's even effective against the Godskin duo guys. So if you guys are having trouble with that fight, maybe go and get this weapon and give this weapon a try. I'm loving it. It's just the amount of damage output that this slice does. The second slice is main damage one. And if you can land both of them, you're doing a lot of damage as you see in the gameplay in front of you. Now, do admit... You need it is a big wind up in this point and you can get interrupted at any point so it is can be against some it's situational obviously like all weapons are some situations it's going to be absolutely awesome like here where you've got a distracted enemy focusing on something else and you can just get it off without being attacked that's when it's really awesome like you see here so as long as you've got a summon up or something you're probably going to have it awesome if they're full-on aggroed on you it's harder to pull off but as you see right here it's doable and it's still very powerful now i do admit really fast enemies and that this probably isn't the go but like all weapons they have their times and this one does shine so with that said it's definitely a weapon to get it's definitely a weapon to have and it's awesome you feel stupidly powerful when you get off these attacks because it just chunks their health so fast it's awesome it looks cool and it's black flame who doesn't love that now you can buff this attack with flame grant me strength incantation and the golden vowel incantation those incantations stack on top of each other and both affect it guys let's get in on how to get the sword now if this helps you out help me out hit that like button subscribe if you're new and share this video with all your friends now where to get the sword guys is you're going to need to come to the divine tower of Caleb and you're going to need to get down into the basement if you guys want to know how to get here and how to get through to this point where I'm going to start from then go and watch this video linked in the description on how to get this godskin armor set because that will take you through to here and you have to defeat that godskin in the bottom basement boss and then after you've defeated that boss you can go through to the chest that holds the sword guys so let's skip to here and we'll show you that from that point so if you don't need to know how to get to this point then just watch this but if you want to know how to get down to this point here the lower basement of divine tower of Caled, go and watch the video linked in the description all we need to do from here is come down to here and obviously we have this awesome sword here so we can just kill him quite easily you'll get it after you get the godskin now right here is going to be the god skin that you're going to have to fight to get this armor set that you see me wearing right here so go and watch that video because it's an awesome armor set and it's worth having and once you've defeated that you just walk straight through to here and in this chest right here is so we come in through the divine tower of Caled, and we've beaten the boss and then we've come to here and right here is the sword guys god slayers great sword easy as simple as there's the sword the queen's back flame incantation we use with it to make it more powerful and use where is it right here golden vowel guys so with that said have an awesome day and i'll catch you guys in my next video b-man out